Hello, hello, everybody. I have an interesting package here. I have never received anything from this company. They reached out, oh, it was way back in January, I believe, and asked if I wanted to get some product to show. And I said, sure. And I started picking out some things and they said they were out of a lot of stuff. And then they were getting ready to have their holiday because, you know, Chinese company and that they would get back with me. So they did. So it's been a little while since they reached out and we started talking, but then I finally was able to place an order. It took a little while to get here. I don't even know how long, but several weeks anyhow. But let's get into it and I'll show you what I have. There's some interesting things here. So it's a craft company and they are called Panda Hall. Panda Hall. And um, what the deal is, is I got several items. They're crafty items and I can unbox them and show them. And then what they would like is to have some follow-up videos showing um, how I use the items and what projects I made with the items. So that's easy enough to do. So let's get into this. Let's just start. Let's start here, first of all, because I don't think I ordered this. I think this was um, something they just added on. So let's look at this first. Here's to be a bag. Let's get it out. Look at it. It's super cute. Gems, beads, findings. Pandahall.com. Here's this little panda bear. How cute. Got their tools and they're making some jewelry, it looks like. So it's a canvas bag and it's got handles. This will come in handy, right? It's a nice canvas bag. Put a little project in there and ready to go. Love it. Super cute. So thanks for that. That was nice. Um, this was all you know, complimentary. I got to pick out what I wanted and I will do my best to link things below. All right. So let's just get into this bag. All right. These I'm super excited. I'm stoked about these. I've opened these. <laughs> I have opened these. These are super cute. Okay. They are plant marker stakes and they're gnomes. <laughs> Love it. So this I really appreciated. They're wooden. There are four that have no name on them, no label. So you could write whatever you want on those. So there's just any vegetable you can think of. Peppers, beans. Dale just planted beans. We need that one. Dale just planted carrots. And he planted cucumbers. Oh my gosh, I need those. We have pumpkin, but we haven't planted it. Broccoli, watermelon, parsley, spinach. Some of these things I'd never plant. Celery, asparagus mushrooms do you plant mushrooms i don't know oh blueberries we can use the blueberry shallots purple potatoes we don't have purple potatoes we do have potatoes i wonder if there's a regular potato oh we got strawberry i'll use the strawberry one for sure oh shannon has chives i can send chives over to her beets cauliflower and they're all different little gnomes they're so cute eggplant <laughs> lettuce i don't know i'm gonna keep out lettuce and we definitely have potato. Look at, he's like tossing the potatoes. How cute. We have onions in our garden. We'll have tomatoes in our garden. And I don't know, I'm gonna keep out corn. We might have corn. So how cute are those? You know what I'm gonna do with these. I'm gonna label these with some flowers for sure and put them in the flower garden. How cute are those? So you'll see these again real soon. So I'll have a little video showing you how I used some of these. These are going to be easy. Just go out to the garden, stick them in the ground, right? How cute. Love it. Okay. That's my first item. I'm stoked about those. Those are fun. All right. This item here, let's see. What is it? And I'll test it out and I'll show you if it works too, because I'm always curious about these. So it's on the little clasp, your little lobster claw clasp. And this is a measuring tool. So you can measure your crochet, um, it's like a little gauge swatch. It goes up to two inches, or this side is centimeters. So you just put this up to your fabric, and it's pretty. It's all like engraved, embossed, or em engraved. It, you can feel the grooves. Um, and use it to check your swatches, your gauge swatch. Love it. So that's cute. Love that. All right. What else do we have in this bag of goodies here? I'm just pulling stuff out. Oh, these will be very useful. And some of you might benefit from these because I had in mind that I could give some of these away. Okay, they're not as large as I thought they would be, but that's okay. They're bookmarks. 
and they're really pretty. So they have this like shepherd's hook and then they have beads that dangle from them. So I'm always in need of bookmarks, you know, I'm always looking for a bookmark. And I thought they would be good for some giveaways. I can throw in some giveaways and stuff. So that one's green, like an amber brown. There's a pretty blue. That one seems to be another brown. I don't think it's purple. Another green, another blue. They're very nice. Oh, we got a red, a couple of reds. So those are super nice. Now, they are a wholesale craft place. So when you order stuff, they come in multiples. Everything comes in multiples. So be aware of that. You don't just go order one bookmark. You get a whole set. Okay, how many were there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that was a packet of ten. And don't have pricing with me right now. Otherwise, I would tell you the prices, but they're very, very reasonably priced for ten bookmarks. All right, what's next? What else do we have? Dig it to the bottom. Oh, oh, these are pretty. Again, I had giveaways in mind. When I got these and there's a bunch of them I have no idea how many there are I'm only gonna take oh they're nice I'm only gonna take out a few I mean there's a whole whole bundle here how many are there does it say 20 okay there's 20 of them they're little bags how cute they're cloth they're very nice got the drawstring these are super nice I can use these all day long to put little things in to give away I don't know if the bookmark, the bookmarks won't fit in there, but other small things will. Cover minders and stickers and candies and things like that. Aren't they pretty? I like those. Those are nice. I thought they might be like gauzy bags, but they're not. They're cloth. Those are very nice. So 20 of those. Should have looked up prices, but I'll link them all below so you can check out the prices. Okay, what else do we have? I had... I had crochet on the brain when I was ordering stuff for sure. <laughs> um, these are really pretty. How often do we want a button? I mean, look at, they're wooden. And look at the design on it. And they're multiple designs. Th these two just happen to be the same. So there are, there are multiples if you need, um, no, he's different. So if you want, you know, a couple of buttons for a project, you can sort through and find all the different patterns on them. I thought they were really pretty. Again, tons of buttons in here. Look at those. All wooden. All these different patterns. Super pretty. Two holes. Sew them on your projects. Use them on sweaters, whatever. Nice. How many buttons are there? Does it tell us how many buttons in the bag? 50. I have 50 buttons. Okay. Uh, button. Button. <laughs> it says, it says butt. X butt. <laughs> There's blues and oranges. And that one's pink. Very nice. Lots of different colors. I thought those were cool. So that's a little object for crochet. Okay. All right. This. This is fun. This is fun. Again, this was a set. Okay, two as a set. And they're keychains, I believe. So I'm only going to open one. Oh, sticker. Sticker in my way. Come on. Sticker's keeping it closed. Wow, the sticker's strong. Okay, so here's the gems. Here is a toolkit. Yes, they have diamond painting. You know, they had actual like small little diamond paintings. They had lots of crafty diamond painting things. There's your keychain holders. And these are thick. And there's a bunch of them in each set. Double-sided flip-flops, right? So there's a blue and green, a green and yellow. I don't know what colors. They're sticky. They're always sticky keychains are. So seal them. Seal them, seal them. Okay, does that, okay, that's the same. I'm going to, isn't it? No, it's not. It is not the same. He has blue straps. He has green straps. 
There's a yellow and black red looking one. And that one looked the same, but it's not. They all appear to be different. There's this guy. One that all blue. Like I said, sticky. Always sticky. Oh, red, white, and blue. Okay, cute. Rainbow. Nice. Yeah, they're all different. Cool. Love it. Okay, those are cute. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All double sided. That would take you a while. Twelve flip flop keychains. That's going to take a hot minute to do those. Let's look at the drills. Let's see what we get. I think it's all rhinestones. I didn't really notice any um, special shapes on any of those. But two sets. That's what comes. Two different sets in the order. Lots and lots of colors. So we have green. I think that's the same color. Yep, two. And then a darker gold. A red. A green. Pretty pink. Purpley pink. That's pretty. There's some black regular drills. One blue, two blues. Clear. A light purple. Another pink. A salmon color. In a deep, deep red. All right. So those are pretty. All rhinestones. Everything you need. Nice little set. And the prices. Oh my gosh. The prices, you guys, are just crazy. They're reasonable. So reasonable. Okay. I got one more item in here. And I want to, I really want to try to use these. I think these are beautiful. I didn't know there was going to be this many of them, of course. <laughs> All right. Can I get them out of the bag? Will I ever be able to get them back in the bag? How did they get them in the bag? Oh, here they go. Maybe. Uh, okay. I don't know that they're ever going back in. I don't think they're going back in. I don't know. Okay. These are. They're bottoms. They are like bottoms for a bag. Like if you wanted to make a round bottom bag, knit, crochet, whatever, this is your bottom. You start here with the holes and you crochet or knit. I wonder if this has a film on the back side. It appears that it does. Kind of cloudy on the back. Let's see. It must. Sometimes these films are so hard to get off. But And I just cut my nails off. So there's that. It does. Okay, see, I finally got a little start there. This will peel off the back. So it's nice and glossy. Look how pretty and glossy that is. Look at the shine on that. Right? I don't think this, this side does not have any film. But this side is like, that texture, you can feel it. Like you can feel the raised circles a little bit. It's very pretty. Now my question is, which side is the bottom of the bag and which side is the inside of the bag? I mean, and you wouldn't have to make it into a bag, but that's what it's intended to be. You could turn this into like the center of a mandala or something. I don't know. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to make a circular bag. And I don't know. What would I like? The Probably this for the bottom. It's more durable. Like if you're setting it down on stuff, this one inside. I don't know. You tell me what, what would you do? Which way would you do it? But I don't think those are ever going back in this little bag. But there's three of them in the set. Love it. So a lot of crochet items. We have that and we have the buttons and we have the gauge swatch, right? And then of course we have Diamond painting. And we have bookmarks. All the things I love, right? Crochet, reading, and it's all the things I love. The cute little bags to package stuff up for you. And then, of course, my cute, cute, adorable little plant markers, right? The plant markers. <laughs> I love those. <laughs> all right. I think that's it. I'll be back with some videos to show you, like, these out in the garden when I place them in the garden and um, 
maybe I'll start to work on some of the keychains. You know, I love to do keychains. But this, this is fascinating. They had lots and lots of different um, purse type things, handles and bases, things like that for crochet or knit projects. So thank you, Panda Hall, for sending me these items. And you'll be seeing some of them again. So um, stay tuned for that. I will link them below. I will make sure I can go in and find all of the links so that you can uh, go check them out yourselves. They're very, very reasonable prices for like larger quantities of items, as you can tell. All right. So thanks, Panda Hall. Awesome, awesome little haul from Panda Hall. <laughs> all right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And um, I gave you a place you can go shop for some supplies. Kind of cool, huh? All right. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And thanks for coming back if you're returning. And I appreciate each and every one of you. So I will be talking to you soon. I hope you guys have a great day. And um, I'll talk to you real soon. Bye, everybody.